Today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional Japanese rice cake into a keto version. We're making keto mochi. Hi, I'm Annie from ketofocus.com and today I've teamed up with Chalk Zero to show you how to make a chewy, delicious keto mochi. Let's get started. Traditionally, mochi is a soft bun. It's like a cake that's made out of rice and it's really chewy. So to make a keto version, obviously we're not gonna be using rice. We're gonna be using some other ingredients. I found a recipe on the internet that I've adapted that I think will work for us. And we are gonna be making a chocolate hazelnut mochi out of Chalk Zero's chocolate hazelnut spread. You wanna start by adding in three and a half tablespoons of inulin powder into a small bowl, along with two tablespoons of unflavored whey protein powder, two and a half teaspoons spoons of egg white powder, a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Whisk it together until it's combined. And then we're going to slowly mix in a quarter cup of coconut milk. Once your batter is smooth and has a consistency like this, now we're going to steam it. But before you steam it, if you do want to color your mochi, this is when you'd want to add a little few drops of food dye to it. You want to place this bowl on top of a steamer basket that has a little bit of water underneath, and we're going to steam it for around 30 minutes. After it's done steaming, carefully remove it from the steamer basket, and then we're going to mix in one teaspoon of coconut oil with one teaspoon of sweetener of your choice. Once this has cooled, we're gonna knead it on a plate. Now, if your dough is too tacky to the touch, then just let it sit out for a little bit longer, just wait a few minutes. The longer it sits out, the drier it will become and it will be easier to maneuver. You do want it to be smoother in consistency, but still tacky as you knead it. Then we're gonna roll this out into little balls. I got around nine balls out of this dough. Set this aside and now we're gonna move on to our filling. So in a saucepan over low to medium heat, we're gonna melt a teaspoon of butter and mix in one tablespoon of coconut milk. Then we're gonna add one third cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Mix that until the cheese is melted and then we're gonna add in half a teaspoon of Chalk Zero's chocolate hazelnut spread. You could use other options here too, like if you wanted to use Chalk Zero's chocolate to do a completely chocolate mochi ball, you could. Once your filling has cooled, now it's time to assemble our mochis. Take your dough and flatten it with the palm of your hand, or you could use a rolling pin here too, and then put a little bit of our filling on top and fold together the sides, roll it around to form a ball. Repeat this with your other components. And now your mochi balls are complete. Make sure you tag Chalk Zero with all of your photos of your keto mochi. 